Hi, I'm Kristen Janssen, a prop and prototype designer and a former costumer with the Children's Theatre Company. And I'm Wendy Freshman, Public Program Specialist for Family Audiences at the Minnesota History Center. Our new book, Making History, Have a Blast with 15 Crafts, features creative projects from the Minnesota Historical Society. It includes all sorts of levels of crafts with easy step-by-step -step instructions and tips. Today, Wendy and our friend Edgar are going to make a Northwoods troll. For this activity, we're going to need a printout of the troll bark and the troll base templates. You're also going to need lightweight cardboard, such as cereal box, manila folder, or poster board. We're also going to need scissors, a glue stick, craft glue, a butter knife or a bone folder, a ruler, a hot glue gun with adult help, a clothespin or a small clamp, an assortment of twigs, and here's a tip. Good troll twigs have a center stick with two twigs on either side to form the arms. And maybe this could be the nose. And beads or small pebbles for eyes. Okay, Edgar, first we're going to roughly cut out this troll base template with our scissors. So it can be a rough cut, so we don't have to cut too close to the lines. Wow, great. Now what you're going to do is flip it over and take our glue stick, and then what we're going to do is just make sure you run the glue stick all the way along the edges first. And then once you've glued them along the edges, then you can glue in the middle, kind of smush it around. Yes, perfect. Okay, so now let's flip it over, and we're gonna glue it down onto this lightweight cardboard, and then let's run your hands on it and flatten it down like a pancake, good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut it out. But you know what? I've already got some troll bases prepared. So I'm going to bring them over here. And there is your troll base, all nicely cut out. So the next step is to score these diagonal lines. There's three of them. It's hard to see, but they are there. So grab your ruler and grab your bone folder. And then place your ruler right along the first diagonal line and press down hard really firmly with your bone folder and the reason why we're doing this is because it's going to make a really nice crease when we put the troll together. So now we're going to fold it. So you're going to fold your flap, pull the flap in, and if you want to take your bone folder and crease the line, that makes a really nice sharp crease. Yes, that's great. So now what we're going to do is we are going to glue the flap together. So if you want to lay, lay your, um, your template down like that and take your glue stick and we're going to put the glue right along the edge of that flap. Perfect. Now let's assemble it. We're going to put it together. And that flap goes to the inside. And you know what we can use to hold it together while it dries? What? We're going to use a clothespin. And I've got one right here. And I think you have a clothespin right over there. Perfect. So let's pinch it together like this. Beautiful. So now we have our troll base. Now comes the fun part. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a twig and this is going to be part of the body of the troll. So um, this is my arms, this is my nose, and then this is, this is the body. So what have you got there? This is my body. This is my arm. Okay. This is my nose. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to insert it into the top of the cone, just like that. Just like this? Exactly. That's perfect. So the next step is we're going to cut out as many bark pieces as you want from this template. And you don't need to cut them out exactly because there's nothing exact about bark. So you know what? I've already pre-cut some, so I'm going to bring those out and then we're gonna spread them out here on the table. Now the next step is to find two skinny ones, two skinny bark strips, okay? And then what, they, what the strips are gonna be used for is for the, like shoulder straps. So what we're gonna do is bend that over the top of the shoulder, just like that. Exactly. So the way to hold that in place is to use a hot glue gun. So I'm gonna get that out, okay? And if you move your fingers, I am going to put 
a little bit of glue right here and a little bit of glue right there. And then we're going to just strap it right over the front and then right over the back like that. And that's one, okay? And then let me do a second one. Put a little bit here and a little bit here. And then we're gonna make that second strap and that just gets folded right over like that. So it's nice and tight. Now the next step is we're going to fold the bark pieces in the middle, okay? Can you do a couple of those? Sure. Fold them over. Exactly. Perfect. And you know what this is going to do? This is going to add a 3D effect to the base of our troll. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add a dab of glue and then can you place a, a strip on there? And let's do a couple more. And actually, you know what? You can use a glue stick too. Do you want to try using your glue stick? Yeah. Okay. And then you can just randomly put them anywhere you want. And it really makes it look then like the troll is alive. All right, Edgar, what do you think happens next? We put on the eyes. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some beads and we're going to pick out the eyes that we like. So do you see something in there you want to use for an eye for eyes? This one. Oh, how come you're only using one? Because it's a cyclops. Oh, a cyclops, great. Well, you know, we could use craft glue, but it's a lot faster with hot glue. So I'm gonna put a dab right there. Is that where you want the eye? Yeah. Okay, good, I'm gonna put right there. And then can you carefully, be careful with your little fingers, put it on there. Oh my gosh, that looks great. And Edgar, we can make a whole family of trolls. I'm gonna go get more twigs. That is a great idea. Well, thanks for joining us. We hope you'll check out our book, Making History, available at your favorite bookstore, or visit www.mnhspress.org slash makinghistory, where there are more fun links and free templates.